So I just told Daddy how to this crack and this crack. <laughs> you can't really buy a snake today because I don't get paid for Friday. But they don't know. Some of these even have a lila tail. Yeah. So if you took them together, you'd have every moon glow, sun glow, and each albino snake that you have. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, anyone over there Good, how about you? I'm alive, I'm breathing. That's good, praise God. Yeah. Signature Design Exotics. Yes, that's my buddy Corey. That's his, uh, his Excellent. You've got good prices. We uh, try to keep money in your pocket. And you play one? The tables? Oh, oh, no problem. That's, that's the trend also. That's, um, that's probably the Cadillac and all these right now. So, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, the trans, it's translucent. So translucent? Yep. See how the bottom looks belly see through? Yeah. That's translucent. Oh, wow. If you look, that's solid black eyes. Where the other ones don't have Very good. Very nice. That should color up to be a nice red dragon when it gets older, too. Good choice. You want dog food? <laughs> Granted, dog food's not the healthiest for him, but it's in a pinch, you're like, crap, I don't have anything thawed for him. Just throw him some, some wet dog food, he's like, alright. <laughs> you're handsome. Oh my god, I love the great dog Oh, I love bearded too. But if it looks underneath, rub it. Hold him, Jen. You know you want him. Yeah. Just like I said, no, only Shannon can. They're not allowed. So I'd watch out for that tail when you pick him up. It will swing. So you just gotta keep him up on you because he can't hold on to you without any toes. This one's a boy. You're not going to rock though, are you? I'm chill. He's too comfortable. Nice and warm, right? That's what they want. Yes, that one is a kid, which is tegu backwards. All kinds of kids. Um, Matilda is our one and only female, and this is creature of the Well, technically he's tasting you, I think, and everything else at the same time. Yes, the first one we got. Like, he's gorgeous, and I'm like, wow, no other tegu can compare to his beauty. You guys are so Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, but he's definitely the chillest. He's like, hey, whatever. My dad can flip him on his back and just hold him. He curls himself up like a little baby. Or just hold him. <laughs> Is it like heat lamps and stuff like that? Like almost like yeah, heat lamp. Just gotta make sure you have a really big, obviously, closure for him. What we do for bedding is we just either buy wood pellets or we'll buy like rabbit feed. Put it on the bottom, either of, either of those work. And a um, big tub of water so they can soak and drink if they need it. And yeah, a couple of heat lamps. He's actually, they're actually really smart. And we have uh, two, two entrances to the cage. We have a hole in the top where we drop the food. And then we have an entrance in the back. And they know, they're smart enough to realize when you're feeding them because they hear the scratch at the hole and they look up and they just wait for the food. But they know if we open up the back of the cage, they're going to be taken out and they just they let you do whatever they want. Yep. They're smart, smart animals. And I think, I believe it was just found out that they can regulate their body temperature. Come on, let's see that tongue again. Am I too close to you? He says, I don't want to taste that iPad. There we go. I got it. He's <laughs> nice. I say, and you'll know when he wants to get put down because he'll start kind of wiggling. We're at right, I'm done with this. But like I said, he's the chillest that we got. <laughs> We're not sure. My dad got him like that. Um, I'm wondering if it was just a case of sometimes when they shed, cool, huh? their skin gets wrapped around their toes and if left on, like, if you, if you, you want to hold it? Okay, hold up. There we go. That tail. All right, you ready? <laughs> Again? Oh my goodness. There you go. That snake more, weighs more than you do. You want to turn on this one? Oh, okay. Around your belly? What do you think she's a hula? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. I think your brother's got a hula. Wrap around. 
<laughs> we're gonna put her back in here. Here, Rich, we're gonna get through there. Oh. Uh, Mr. Drew will do it. Why not me? Why not you? Oh, it's Bubby Pig here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my that. goodness. What what have we got here? That is a so, uh, This oh, is a male no uh, humming snapping turtles who are cooking from Massachusetts. Wow. Um, he's 37 years old and he's basically kept in a tub like this. Shell is all messed uh, up. Yeah. yeah, that's why I didn't even recognize it because it's yeah, because of course you're re you rescue yeah. mistreated or, or abandoned animals. But he had a metabolic bone disease and a lot of his muscles were atrophied from just living in something that tiny, but he's a testament like for why um, people often lie to buyers and say, oh, they only grow to fit their yeah. Really, they don't. No, no, they grow huge. But, I mean, here's a... Uh, I don't know what his name is now, but we thought she was female, or it was female, it turns out it's a male, but this, we called him Wilma, but that's, you know... That was about yay big a couple years ago. This is what normal growth looks like as opposed to, you know, the problem. Right. And in the middle, this, is this a, one of the Mississippi mud turtles? No, no, no. no. This is a soft shell turtle. Oh, soft. Um, Drew just picked this one up. I'm not sure. I think it's Florida soft shell, but I'll, I'll find out. So here's a mistreated turtle. And here's a turtle that isn't mistreated. on a shell, too? No, this is, um, Looks these like are me. actually calcium deposits because he's kept oh, in, my goodness. not only was he kept in the uh, tub, but all they filled him was wrapped in like sticks. So, like um, like yeah. That's sad. Yeah, he came, um, this is before my time knowing Drew, but he got Colby and the same metabolic bone disease. Yep. And, uh, you know, you could even push on the shell and it would, like, give a little bit. Wow. And just with proper care treatment, it's shells like not quite started. straight now, but it looks a hell of a lot yeah. better. He's grown very well. Now this 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 cracking here, that's from the problem also, right? Yes, Normally, yes, sort of like I see in this turtle, it doesn't have that at all. But yeah, Minnie here, um, she's more normal. Yeah, she's well taken care of. Yeah, that's so sad. Especially when it's an animal that lives so long too. To right. to. Uh, not that we should mistreat any animal, but right. my goodness, an animal that lives longer than we do. I mean, how long will these tip these typically can live? A long time. <laughs> I want to say a long time, but yeah, about yeah. But they're and they're actually are these the what type of these are these the cicadas? Cicadas. Okay. Aren't they so adorable? They are. I like that corn snake. That's really beautiful. They are pretty. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, he does. He can get. Oh no 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 no! Don't! I don't want to interfere with. Oh, you're not. I was just trying to let you get a good picture. Okay. Because I got actually a picture of her. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yes, I would love to see inside. <laughs> I'm sorry, but cockroaches, these cockroaches fascinate me, the insects oh, they're too. I mean, these guys are just great. I mean, the Nubias are really pretty cool. Wow. And to think that they have live fur, that's pretty neat to me. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah. That's neat to know. And, uh, you know, and the fact that you, you know, if they get out in your house, they're just going to die. They can't right, survive is, right. is really a plus. Yeah, that's definitely a plus. And you know, people are eating them now. They're being sold for, depending on how you raise them, you can, uh, uh, there's more and more interest in insects as food. There was a guy here last year who was actually selling cricket pumps and stuff like that. Yes. That was really pretty cool too. Yeah. I don't think he's here this year, but. That's gross. Yeah, this is like I'm a big breeder. I'm a
Wow, that's beautiful. You want to see something really cool? We have one that just shed in here. If I can pull her out real quick, I'll show you. Oh, and she, she, oh look at that. She's pure white. <laughs> Oh, she's probably hiding. Yeah, they go she probably there. feels less protected. Right, mom. Tiny. Okay. No, it's pure white, honey. You can see her. She's standing there. I have seen them. Oh, there, there it is, right there. Behind her. Yep. Right on that white, oh, that white right. thing. That's the bigger one. There's two of them in here. Oh, wow. So this is after a shed. Yeah. Isn't that They're crazy? white. Yeah. And then they darken back up again. Just amazing. I find insects just as fascinating or more fascinating oh, than the reptiles sometimes. Well, and the changes that they go through. I mean, reptiles yep. are awesome. Whoa, I love Mom, reptiles. she's yep. pure white. Yeah, she is pure white. And she's almost translucent. You can almost see right through her. Wow. Hey, she's a white thing in the thing. <laughs> The reality is snakes are carnivores and snakes need meat. Look at that eye. Yeah, well, there was one girl that I'm keeping. Wow, oh, those are the oh. no. We're just getting our reflections. Is that what he's pointing at? Oh, it's quite different looking. Oh, I love these ones that curl like this. You know, most of those ones. You like that? You take one of each, right? Tiger Amazon tree boa, not for sale. Is that your is that your wallet right there? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so neat. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs>
I've never seen one like that before. I hooked up to one of my racks last night and held the temperature. If you have any issues with it at all, don't. If you do, Now what are these? Oh, the beta. Beta? Yeah. Okay. okay. Excellent. Oh look at this. This is so pretty. Look at this roof. Does it need all handsome? So you can get Hey Ruth, here's the smaller cockroaches. Dubious? Yeah. Yep. Dubious cockroaches. This is a lychee. This is a lizard that's become very popular. How much is that lizard? Well, this is my personal one. So this is your pet? Your pet? Okay. She, she was for sale, she would be about a gram. Okay, yeah. yeah. They're very, that's why I asked. Yeah. I know they're the the uh, very popular but very expensive they edition are. of the, the reptile trade. They don't as frequently as pets do, so they're expensive. Yep. If you get them to pair up in the first place. If you get them what? To pair up in the first place. Oh, to breed them, you mean, yes. Yeah. They don't always like each other. Oh, that makes sense. Just like humans. Elizabeth would love that. Okay, do, when is this does have the, the times of when the, the dates of when the show is or I can just I can um, just look that up on the internet. Look it up. I believe the next one is it's either gonna be late September or October. There's two a year. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it's on the website. So what town is it in? It's gonna be in uh, South Weymouth. South Weymouth, okay. Yeah, there's a big uh, baseball field there. So they have a function a, hall. Outside oh function no, it's, it's inside. inside. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's Great. Yeah. Excellent. That's a hard question to answer. I, you know, the way I have my racks is situated out, it's all, uh, that's insulated heat tape, I guess. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good. I have them on uh, spider robotic thermostat, uh, thermostats. I'd be dumb to not take her. All right. Are you selling the tanks here too? These? Yep. Yeah, I got a bunch of used ones. I just, honestly, I've been down in Florida for days. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty snake. <laughs> it's a South American milk snake. Wow. 
I gotta feel him. He looks, the skin looks like almost unique. It's like so shiny. Yeah, the, uh, the scientific name Lampropeltis means shiny shield. Shiny shield, wow. That's kind of their, uh, it's kind of what they're known for. Wow, neat. I'll, now, I'll I'll give him back to you <laughs> before you. Under natural lighting, you can see a bit of iridescence on them too, especially on the black scales. Oh, I can believe it. That's a beautiful snake. Now, are they are they any particularly different to care for than most snakes? Um, these guys are probably a little easier to take care of, just because uh, they, they come from the high altitude areas of uh, you know the Andean mountains. Oh, so they probably don't have to be as warm. They, yeah, they uh, they're fine at room temperature as long as wow. room temperatures are you know 70, 72. These these guys do fine. Wow. Don't need any special uh, lighting either because they they're primarily fossorial, so they're you know, it's burrowing around underground most of the time. Wow, that's excellent. So, that, that's that would be the snake to have. I'll tell you if you want to. <laughs> and these uh, these are polyzonas. This is uh, polyzonas, a Mexican species. So they, they need a little bit of supplemental heat, but not much. And um, they, they, get, they get kind of darker in the uh, the white bands there, so they end up being kind of a bicolored look as they as they approach maturity. <laughs> That is so cool. It's so pretty. They're so colorful. He doesn't want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Do you have, uh, have locality data for these? I do not. I, well, I do at home, but not oh, okay. right with me. Off the top of your head? No. Very adventurous. <laughs> Well, it only makes sense because they're they're at their they're at their temperature, so they're more mobile. A lot of these other oh, yeah. tropical snakes are sitting there, kind of saying, "Boy, it's cold. I think I'm going to stay still." Yeah, yeah and ball pythons and uh, you know the, the, the boas and things tend to be a little less active anyway. Come on, there we go. Now, what are the pricing of these? I don't see the the prices oh, yeah, on these. Get that. Oh, okay, right here. Yeah, hundred bucks each, or um, you know, do a deal on on pairs if you wanted to be in pair. That's not bad at all for price either. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time this particular species has been available in Maine, as far as I know. Wow. Um, very, very uncommon in uh, in captivity right now. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Somewhat popular, maybe ten or so years ago, but. Um, then people found out there wasn't good uh, locality data for the original founding stock. And a lot of the milk supplies are really kind of precise locality data for everything they keep. So, uh, oh, wow. some of those guys got out of it due to that. But, I mean, geez, regardless. Yeah, I, I, to me, if you know it's from South America. <laughs> right. And you know it lives in the trees, that pretty much kind of tells you almost everything. Well, they almost want to know where it comes from from a square mile, you know? Oh, wow. I, ne I, had never, I never was aware of that. But I suppose if you're, you know, it all depends on how super into the details you are. Right. Thank you.
What's this one here? Black tree monitor. Say that again? Black tree monitor. Oh, I didn't even see that right there, black tree monitor. I would have answered you anyway. And is this this type of skink here? Yes. I'm okay. not sure exactly what skink he took the name off of it. Okay. But it is a skink. Oh, you got one there. Baby black and white orange Virginia Tango. Now, how big will he get? Will he get? He jolts over there. Yes, okay. I mean, get... Yes, that's, that's this what has, I thought. This has like the angry teenage phase. How, how, old, how old is this one? Baby juvenile. And just age wise, as I'm far not, as months, not, not quite sure, number of months or, or years. Okay. The angry, Baby the angry juvenile. Phase of the Here we have a German tortoise. And up here we have the uh, red foot. Okay, these ones stay real. Continue to stay small. That's good. Well, not This was a good book. I like this. I read that. I did like. I, I thought it was interesting. It. I read most of it. Yeah, it is. There's a ton of good information in there. It's funny how well it's written. Yes, it is. Good cases. I'm a hunter as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hunting is part of it too. It's like, would you rather have the poacher go out and shoot ten elephants and just take the cops? We'll have a hundred and fifty grand to go and shoot one elephant and then everyone gets to meet Super Honda. Uh, Let's see if I can get it. I think it's a better fish to get. Okay, good. Oh, there we go. I can take that right off. There we go. Excellent. That is nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Writing a good grab. There you go. Now, what's the snake you're holding? Wow, pretty. How old is it, do you think? A, or a yearling? Wow. And how long will he be when he when he's full grown? If he four feet? Oh, he'll only stay at four feet. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to know the ones that don't. You're not going to end up with a 12-foot snake, is what I'm saying. <laughs> And if you do, you've got to get a few outside back. That's neat. That's neat. That's neat. Whenever you see not for sale, that one. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, but that so means this, they're not for sale, so they don't this count. One, well, this one's for sale because it's a baby, the same thing as this. So I last see. year I got, this was the first one produced, the first butt of this ever produced in the country. Wow. So I got one of these from that guy. There was only like 10 available, and then I produced these this year. So this is the same as this. These four here have uh, the matrix gene in them too. See how these ones are more speckly? Yes, yes. So, if you breed two matrices together, you get an ivory. This is an albino ivory, and this is a regular ivory. Neat. So, basically, these are carrying the Bati and the matrix, and they're carrying the mother of these was a, a T negative albino matrix, but these are a T negative albino. So, there's two strains of albinism here. Wow. T positive, T negative. T positive is kind of like a caramel albino, basically. Okay. Whereas the T negative albino is a, a true albino, has the red eyes, takes out all the black, or the, you know, the black thing and all the melanin. Um, a lot of the T positive caramel stuff still has a little bit of a kind of, you know, caramel, purple, brown. They have a darker eye pigment. Um, so, but all of these babies here, so these are regular matrices, same as this, but okay. they, these carry the albino gene for this as well. 
everything in this rack, in this rack, all, if you breed these together or breed them to another one of those, you'll get an albino version of this. Oh, excellent. So no, nobody's done that yet. They've made the T-positive version of this so far, which is this, but nobody's made them in this color mutation yet. So wow. that's my goal. Hopefully next year, I produce, this is a male, and this is a male, so hopefully, I can breed into a couple females next year and, and get actual T-negative albino birds. Excellent. Well, good luck on that. That will be interesting to see you here next year with them, maybe. Hopefully.